So the key here is about identifying the variables for each measurement. So if we are looking at and assuming we have a series of measurements, this is a, a scatter called a scatter plot in um, AB part of color space. I've got dots, some of them are black, those are the ones that pass, some of them are pinkish in color, those are the ones that failed. I could look at them another way and look at a trend of, are they too light, too dark, too red, green, yellow, blue. Um, you know, I can look at this data and see I've got some significant variation. Um, this is of course just a just an example, it's not, a real, not, not necessarily a real world example, um, but you could expect that if you're looking at your color, you might see these kinds of variation. So looking at that doesn't really tell, isn't gonna help me at all, um, other than to know I have variation in, in my, my color production. So then the next step is to do this, to group or sort the data based on the variables. And the way that we do that, I'm gonna show you how we do it in our, in our IQC software. You can set the software up so that um, um, a window like this will pop up before every measurement. Um, and I've chosen these three groups of things to identify. Who is the supplier? What line is it running on? What temperature am I running at? So it's about identifying which process variation items might be the most critical for you? Is it what piece of machinery it was is manufactured on? Um, is it, do you have multiple suppliers? Is it um, different substrates? Is it different temperatures? Is it different dwell times? The software lets you configure whatever you want these things to be. Um, I'm showing you groups here. You can also use tags, groups. Groups allow you to do three things. Tags, you can do like 20. So there's plenty of places to identify the different things that are um, different about each product, um, each sample you produce or each, each uh, time you run the product. And then ultimately, if I take those measurements and do that, you'll see here that I can now um, sort this data based on the variables. So this is a, I measured my desktop, as you can see, 19 different times against a, a standard. Um, some of it passed, some of it failed. I, I caused that to happen, of course, just to give you an example. But you can see in those last three columns where I've, for the three groups I've identified, supplier, line, and temperature, I've entered da different data. Um, in the software, I can then click on any one of those columns and sort by it. So um, hopefully I can start to see a trend of Oh, well, everything from this supplier tends to be lighter and everything from that supplier tends to be darker. Okay, um, I'm starting to learn something about process variation. Same thing could be true about different temperatures or lines or whatever variables it is that you're going to track. Um, you can start to sort the data by that. You can filter the data by that. So you can just plot the, the samples of one variable versus another um, and so forth.